Welcome back to DJ JoQ TV. Well, my name is DJ JoQ, and today I'm here with a new DJ controller, which is called Roland DJ202. I am already using a DJ controller, which is called Pioneer DDJ SR2. But I have already find myself with a new DJ controller which is already in my studios but today i'm here to open the box that's the brand new for you to see how you're gonna connect your dj controller after you have bought from a store that's a brand new dj controller not slightly used but it is a brand new dj controller many people face challenges during the time of fixing their new dj controller with the type of software they can use to control the DJ system. So I'm having Roland DJ controller 202. And I'm gonna show you the type of software you can use to connect your DJ controller with your DJ software. So Roland DJ202 can be used with a software called Serato DJ Lite. There is Serato DJ Pro and there is Serato DJ Lite. So, which controller can connect with both of the software? That is what we're gonna look for today's edition on how to connect your DJ controller with your software. So let's open the box right now and see what's inside. If you also go to the store to buy a brand new DJ controller and what you should expect inside the box after you have bought your controller from the store. So let's go and open the box right now and see what's inside. That is a brand new DJ controller, Roland DJ202. And there is the cable you will use to connect your controller with your laptop. Either you are using Mac or Windows. So that is how the whole package looks like if you buy your new DJ controller. That's Roland DJ202. If you open the box, that is how you're gonna see. Hey, yo, Ken, let's go. So I'm now opening for you to see how it looks like after you bought your new DJ controller. So, as you can see on the screen, this is the brand new DJ controller directly from store. And as you can see here, everything is here, which I think at my next gig, 
I'm gonna use DJ controller which looks fresh brand new with quality sound and of course hits music so I can start jamming the whole crowd and of course starts to make people feel good at the party place so this is the new dj controller roland dj202 and it is connected easily with serato dj light you can use serato dj pro but you have to upgrade that software which can fit how you want to use the software to play your music so right now we are going to install the software on the laptop and start playing music with okay that is the second part of the whole issue on connecting your new roland dj controller with the latest software which is called serato dj light this time around we are not dealing with serato dj pro because the roland dj controller is only connecting directly with your controller with this software and the software is called serato dj light you can find serato dj light free to download on the official website of seratodj.com so now i am installing the software afterwards then i connect the dj controller with this software then i start playing my music so right now i have already installed the software on my laptop and i have connected the rca cables which will go directly into my amplify or maybe a music box or something different else and here is where you're gonna use this cable to connect your controller with your laptop after you have installed your software so right now i'm gonna play this controller for the first time in my studio and later on i can use to play music at a party or a different place so let's go you are now a rocking rocking with dj rocking with dj J -J -J -Q. So thank you for watching DJ JoQ TV. This is the overview or that is the setup of Roland DJ 
2.0.2.0.2. So in case you want to find yourself with a brand new controller, I can recommend this DJ controller for you as a starting DJ or you are already a DJ and you need a portable or a nice DJ controller for your setup. I will recommend this DJ controller for you. So thank you for watching DJ Joe Q. Catch me on my next tip on how to connect your controller with your DJ software. Bless up. Peace.